everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have some KiwiCo unboxings. Um, I decided to extend our subscription, so you guys will be seeing more of these. If you have no interest in seeing the kids' box, I will put a timestamp right here to when I get to the Maker Crate. Um, before we get into this, a few boring housekeeping tips. Uh, I do have a fan running directly to my left, if you do hear that noise. I am recording this while my tiny human is sleeping, so you will definitely hear her singing, babbling, doing whatever it is she's doing instead of sleeping. Um, and I also have the world's crappiest lighting. It seems like no matter what I do, I cannot make it better. So, I'm going to pull out my handy-dandy notes. I will say, I've now noticed the information is different in two different places. I, so, let me just let me just tell you what I've got here. So, this is the Koala Co. box, and this is for kids ages 2 to 4. Um, there's also one younger than this, which is the Panda, and then the 5 to 8 is Kiwi. Atlas is 6 to 11. The Doodle is 9 to 14 and up, or 16 and up. And then... This is where I get confused. There's a Maker, a Tinker, and a Eureka. I think the Tinker is also uh, 9 to 16 or 9 to 14, and then the others are for adults and up. I'm probably wrong on that, and that's okay. So, this one is the Koala Crate. The one thing I do love, and they print this on a yellow box, and it makes it very hard to see. It does tell you what it is on the side, so you have an idea. But if you have somebody, I mean, obviously my two-year-old's not, or, ooh, my three-year-old's not reading this. Wow. Come on, Lindsay. Get it together. But this is Alphabet Play, and it says, Learn letter shapes and sounds using an ABC token bank and felt alphabet puzzle. Um, if you hear my husband, he is talking to her over the monitor, trying to get her to go to sleep. So, um, hopefully, that's the very first time that I've ever seen them put in a shipping label inside okay i need to contact them because this is wrong again <sighs> don't mind me i renewed my daughter's subscription for a year and mine as well and this says for a three-month renewal so i don't know if something is messed up here anyway so each month comes with um like, a little book about different things, about whatever that topic is. Uh, wow. All right. So, what kids' handwriting should look like. Um, and then books. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. If anybody has not read that with their child or read it to a child, my kid loves that book. We haven't done it in a while, but she, like, memorized it. And then they always come with an instruction book. Um, tells you how to use the crate and then what different things to do. Uh, the last crate that we worked on together had things for, like, level one and then level two. So the level two is more advanced. Um, what do we got here? Oh, that's cool. So it shows you how you can use these shapes to help build the letters. Um, I think she'll really like that. She loves all of her letters. And these are going to be the coins for the machine that they just mentioned yes so this is kellen if you guys don't know kellen you should he's dope um so my assumption is you're putting the coin in here and it comes down uh obviously i'll have to read the instructions and then i always go with the option that has the book uh, you don't have to, and I can't remember the difference in price, but for us, it's worth it. My kiddo is a book lover, but she's very rough on books. And most books that are age-appropriate for a three-year-old are no longer board books. And uh, we don't want her to destroy them. So, on to the next. If you guys are interested in snagging your own KiwiCo box, whatever kind it is, um, I do have a referral link, and I will leave that down below. Um, before I get super into mine, I will say, uh, don't mind the fact the box is a little beat up right here. I'm a little bit disappointed. I know which one this one is. Um, and I'm not disappointed that I got it, 
What I am disappointed is I've been seeing all these ads for... Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm really confused. Oh, editing, Lindsay. So, something happened here. And, um... Again, I'm going to need to contact them because... Here's my Maker Crate. And here's her Koala Crate. So, I got two... Koala crates. This one is different. Um, I definitely need to contact them. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello, 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 everybody. So I'm not sure where I'm going to add this. The beginning, not the beginning. Wouldn't make sense. Um, maybe the middle, maybe the end. I don't know. Wherever you see it, hi, this is me in the future. Or I guess this is me present day and what you're watching was in the past. Either way, not the point. I contacted KiwiCo about getting two koala crates, one without a book, one with a book, one with a three-month renewal, one with a 12-month renewal. So they got back to me and they let me know that the reason I got an additional crate is because they had asked me to review one of my previous crates. And I didn't really discuss this in the video, so I'm going to just briefly touch base on it here. Um, we had a crate that... Um, it came with like two levels, you know, your basic and then your like immediate, intermediate, right? Something like that. Anyway, um, sorry, my hair is like flying all over the place. Um, oh my God, I feel like this is just a really long roundabout way for me to say. They asked me to review the crate. I let them know that I felt that particular crate was above my child's age range and ability. And it actually made her feel really bad about herself because she could not accomplish what the tasks were. Um, it was the mail carrier crate, which I think is a really odd choice to do when we're in the middle of a pandemic. Because it, tell, it encourages you to like deliver notes to your neighbors and your loved ones, which... Um, that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, my child is not advanced enough with her abilities in... Um, using scissors and tracing things and folding things. And I know it's to teach them skills, but I could see she was just getting more and more frustrated and more and more upset the longer we tried to work on it. So I did let them know that. And apparently somebody was supposed to let me know. God, my hair is super long. Um, somebody was supposed to let me know for my troubles, I guess, that they were sending us an additional crate as like a, an apology. Uh, nobody did, so it was quite a surprise when it showed up on my doorstep. I'm very appreciative of it. Um, and I didn't, obviously, give them those responses in hopes that I would get something for free because I, I had no idea that that was... I had no idea. Um, I just wanted to let them know the age box on that is two to four. My child is three, and it felt way above her. Um ability and I'm not saying that there aren't two-year-olds out there who could do this but I know if my child was super frustrated at three and like really feeling down on herself that kids younger than her might struggle with it as well so I just wanted to relay how I felt about that specific box so um that is what that is it is a 12-month renewal for some reason they printed a three-month they told me everything was taken care of in the back end so I will put you back to your regularly scheduled programming bye guys um, I digress. If you were waiting for the Maker Crate, I'll get to that in a minute. So this one is Bugs. Um, I have to double check if they double charged me then, or if they just screwed up somewhere. Again, this has the booklet all about the things, so learning about... This is very Highlights Magazine. And then this one is the grown-up stuff, again. Um cute little wooden mushroom. Now, if you're doing one of these kits for, like, the younger kids, like the Koala Box, um, I, it's my understanding that all the toys are wooden toys, so if you're into, like, Montessori or just want toys that are not plastic, um, that's what will come in it. Here's a headband, I imagine. Yep. Oh, this looks like a fun box. Okay, it looks like there's lots of things to craft here. I'm not going to go too in-depth on this one because, um, I wasn't expecting... Yeah, and this one doesn't have the book. Okay. All right, I'm definitely going to shoot them an email when this is done. Anyway, so that's what the kids' ones are like. Um, I feel like 
I've had some where my kid absolutely loves it, and then I have other ones where my kid, it just seems way advanced for her. And my kid's three, so a box for kids ages two to four, it should work for her. Okay. Let me get into the Maker Crate stuff. So, this one here is the Paper Pulp Paintings. Try saying that three times fast. So, the reason I said I was disappointed is because I had seen ads all over Instagram, um, more so Instagram than Facebook, but I think I saw them on Facebook too, for a loom knitting kit that you could make like winter hats. And I had reached out to them when I saw that this is what it was. Now, I don't know if there is a way for people to um, adjust and see what they're getting or not. But if I log into my account or it tells me my item has shipped or is being prepared, it tells me exactly what it is. So I messaged them and I said, am I not going to get that loom? Because I was really excited for that. Um, and they said, no, we don't advertise things for future kits. They're, they're kits that have already happened. And I said, okay, well, I've been doing this. This is now my fourth month and I haven't gotten that one. And they said, well, you have a year subscription now. There's a chance that you'll get it. Does that mean I will get it? Or does that mean that by, you know, the fall, they will have changed things? I don't know. So I thought about buying just that kit, but they're very expensive to buy on their own. Um, if anyone ever made paper, like in elementary school, this is what this reminds me of. So, um, and if I ever show anything in my KiwiCo that you guys would like to see me do in a video, just let me know. Um, this one I know is going to be messy, so this will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so with this one I actually watched the video on how to do this one already it comes with so you fill your containers either the jars or the squeeze bottles or both with water and then pieces from your pulp paper so what you'll do is you're basically turning this into like a sludge and then you are using I mean, this is just like when I made paper as a kid. You took, like, old construction paper. Um, you take the mesh netting, um, and you put it on the wooden frame, and you put your canvas down, and you draw your image on it. So you can use this as a template. This is just like a cookie cutter. I'm sure you could use regular cookie cutters. Um, and then you use the tools to place the things in the shapes. So here's what you do. And then you basically dry it off. So you can see here, here is what the pulp paper looks like mixed with the, the, the water. Um, you get more accuracy with the squeeze bottles. So for the more fine detail stuff, you'll use the squeeze bottles. And then you can use this to pour around on the outside. Um, and then there are tools in here to dry it off. And then when it is done, you peel it off of your mesh wire. And you have a pulp paper painting. So, um, I'm a little bit frustrated with this month and the way customer service was handled. I contacted them multiple times about my daughter's subscription and my subscription, and it seems that it <sighs> hasn't fully been resolved. So, I will definitely be contacting them afterwards. If I get any kind of update, I will leave it down below in the description box. Um, I will make sure... If I haven't already, to link a couple of the other unboxings up in the eye. Um, but if you enjoyed this or you are curious about this, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. While you are there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. Uh, I know that this isn't necessarily everybody's cup of tea. I really enjoy finding new crafts that I maybe wouldn't have thought of. Um, and if I don't like it, I don't like it. It was just one kit. Um... But these are also activities that once my daughter gets older, she could do something like this. Now, she can't do that now. I mean, she probably could, but she would make a hot, hot mess. And the only person who's allowed to be a hot mess in this house is me, conductor of the Hot Mess Express. Anyway, make sure you guys also hit that notification bell. I do not upload on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record while she is sleeping or sleeping. So thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye!